Hey guys, Donna Lewis here, and it's Transform Tuesday. So, um, hope you're ready. I'm going to take just a moment to make sure that I can see people's comments. And I also just want to mute my phone, a couple little housekeeping things. And this is going to. There we go. Perfect. Now I can see your comments. So we're good to go, folks. Again, this is Donna Lewis, and this is Transform Tuesday. And uh, we're going to dive into our devotional here. But I also want to just give people a few, just a little bit of time to go ahead and log on. I see we got one person watching and one share. Praise God. That's awesome. When you guys give me shares and hearts, hi, my hubby's on. Love you, sweetie. Um, when you guys give me the likes and shares and hearts, it really benefits the entire ministry. But again, the most important benefit from that comes from when you comment on these videos and live streams is that your comments truthfully help other people. You might ask the same question somebody else might be too timid to ask. Your comment might be exactly what another person needs to hear in that very moment. So. Please remember your, your likes, your comments, your shares do a tremendous amount of support for this ministry. Well, today on our Transform Tuesday, we are going to dive into word number 37. And the title of this is Eyes Up. When I wrote this, I was reminded of my motorcycle training when I was first learning to ride. The instructor would constantly say, keep your eyes up, keep your eyes up. And also it reminds me of when I teach piano, the tendency is to want to look at your hands. And when you look at your hands, you lose sight of where you're going. And that is the single most important thing when you're playing piano is to keep your eyes up so that you're prepared for where you're going. Well, before we dive in, I'm going to say a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your transformation. Thank you for the word of God that keeps us on point that keeps us focused in the right direction. Holy Spirit, I just invite you and welcome you and give you absolute charge over this Transform Tuesday. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to share the screen with you so that you can read this with me. And let me see, I just want to kind of move this around and I'm going to blow this up. There we go. Eyes up. Don't look back. Eyes up and forward. Your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. Don't get tangled up in shame guilt, or regret. Christ has exchanged the old, decaying nature for his ever regenerating life of truth, health, peace, and grace. Now what I want to do right now is, yes, blow this up a little bit so so that you all can see this. Let's just look at that again. 
don't look back. How often do we get tripped up by those old regrets, those old memories that are sources of shame or fear or both? Or maybe it's the old glory days. Well, I remember when your best days are ahead of you, not behind. Don't get tangled up in shame, guilt, or regret. Remember, Christ has exchanged that old, decaying nature for his ever-regenerating life of truth, health, peace, and grace. Superhero, you have much to accomplish, much to give, so keep racing toward the finish line. And our scripture is found in Philippians 3, 13 and 14. This is taken from the Passion Translation. I do have one compelling focus. I forget all of the, the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. You know, even if we're clinging to good memories from the past. If it's holding us back from pressing forward, it's not healthy. So the journaling question of the day is, what is in front of you? Discuss with the Lord and set a short-term goal for three months from today, then a longer range goal for one year. Describe them. I believe it's always important to keep our short term goals very attainable. Something that when you look at it, you're like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. And remember, through Christ, all things are possible. So you might want to consider setting the more grand goals out and the, 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 the short-term goals achievable, like very attainable, very like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that where you're getting that sense of motivation, and yeah, I can do that. You're feeling fired up about it because success leads to more success. Uh, the Word of God says, be faithful in a few things and I will give you more things, right? So set yourself up for success. Give yourself those small achievable short-term goals and then set the big ones the like ooh, that's a little scary set but it's challenging you which is good right yes oh cindy what you got here short term organize my book ideas better yes yes amen amen very good excellent i love that 
So yeah, the the big ones, the ones that are like challenging, like, I don't know, you know, it could be almost anything. Those God size goals, set those for the year out. But with God, but remember with God, all things are possible. And he's going to help you set those short term goals in order to achieve the, the big God size goals, right? So, oh, you're welcome. Yes, thanks for tuning in. This is good. So tell me, guys, um, I love it. Cindy gave a one short-term goal, and I love it. It's organize my book ideas. Yes. Um, me, short-term goal. Um, short-term goal. Oh, what is the short term goal I have? I mean, I've got lots of goals. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm looking at one of them right now. And that is I've got to finish. I've got to get my article submission outline done um, soon. <laughs> um, and then I've also got to get another entry written for my book um, 50 words of love to restore the heart so I've got two short-term goals so let me lay one out okay so my short-term goal is Friday I am going to have my outline for my live stream submission done and One more short-term goal. Monday, I'm going to have an entry done for my book. So what's, uh, what's another short-term goal you guys are laying out? Um, <laughs> this is that, that is, was just one I, that I could think of. No, oh, no kidding. Uh, for real, for real. Um, how about a health goal? I've been working on my health and I have one short-term goal that I've got and that is to have 30 pounds off by summertime. I've been working at it since April. So, and so far so good. I haven't weighed myself yet because I don't have a scale. So I guess that's another short-term goal I should make for myself is to get a scale. But my meal plan's been going good. I've been working on my meal planning with my fitness app and I've been, so I guess another short-term goal is just to stay faithful to logging my meals. I did find a great deal today on a food scale. So that's something new for me. I've never weighed food before. <laughs> How many of you all use a food scale? Because um, I've never used one before. So that's a new one for me. Um, I also need to get more iron in my diet. Um, that's the interesting effect to logging food is I've actually been seeing where my nutritional deficits are. Oh, yeah, you're right. You use a food scale, Cindy? How do you like it? You know, that's a... Oh, okay, you did, but you do have one. Yeah, I just got one. I, I stumbled onto it today um, at this little sundry store that my friend and I went to. And I was like, hey, I've been wanting to buy one of those. And there it was, right there. So I did. It's cute. It's red. I'll take a picture of it and show it to you. <laughs> but yeah, um, when as I've been logging my food and then looking at my nutrition, I realize I'm... Oh, you love it and it does help. Cool. 
Very good. I figured it would. Um, but yeah, I, I totally don't get enough iron in my diet. So I bought broccoli at the farmer's market and I guess that's high in iron. So that should help. <laughs> so what's, an, you know, everybody put a nutrition goal, just one achievable nutritional goal uh, in the comments today. That's my question of the day. I'm, I'm on this nutrition kick. I mean, I mean, it's not a kick for me. I'm in the position now where if I don't start looking at my nutrition, I'm going to have some real issues on the horizon. So, you know, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, I want to have a healthy, long life as much as it's up to me. So I've had to make some real serious changes in the way I approach nutrition. Uh, but, you know, this is good for all of us because nutrition is medicine. It really is. It, you know, the proper nutrition gets rid of brain, fro brain fog. Proper nutrition gets rid of aches, pains, and inflammation. So, um, yeah, that's the question of the day. What's one nutritional goal you're going to set for yourself that's short-term and achievable? So, like, something that you're going to accomplish in the next three months, but highly achievable. Ooh, lower your carbs. Great. Great. That's a good one. That helps with inflammation. That's really, really good. I'm, like I said, mine is to get more iron into my diet because I'm, that and potassium, I don't get enough potassium either. Um, and I didn't know that till I started logging my food. So I thought I ate really healthy. Come to find out, mm, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> What you think and what you are can be two different things. So, yeah, that's that's mine is to increase my iron and increase my potassium. But um, good stuff, y'all. Let's see. So, yes, the Transform Tuesday word is to stay focused on what's in front of you. To not allow regret and shame and fear to attack and overwhelm you. To take authority of it in the name of Jesus and hold every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. And here's the good news. The battle belongs to the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Isn't it awesome? Isn't it awesome that God does not expect us to do anything? in our strength but lets us know that we can do all things in his strength i want to leave you with that oh i love it that was all i have <laughs> that's awesome cindy oh let's see i had to remove my hand from something that was not where God wanted me to be, yes. Though I can support it and encourage it, encourage it, it is not part of the ministry that he has for me. It was tough, but so freeing. Oh, that is good. That is good. Yes, sometimes, I mean, we have to be really careful what we agree to participate in. Not all good things are God things for us. That's hard to remember, isn't it? That's a good one, Cindy. I like that. That's really good. Well, guys, that is all I have for you today. Um, tomorrow, we have our expert interview. 
Uh, so tune in that, um, and uh, stay, stay connected to Breathe Life Ministries on Facebook with the event pages because we always have things coming up. Our expert interviews, the times change week to week depending on who I'm interviewing because I have to work with their schedule. Uh, Transform Tuesday, though, will always be 1 o'clock on Tuesdays Eastern. 1 o'clock Eastern Tuesdays. Please share this video. Please like this video. Thank you for your comments. If you're watching on the recast, please go ahead and comment. Please go ahead and share because uh, I will see those comments and so will others. God bless. I will see you back here next week on Transform Tuesday. From now, uh, for now though, keep your eyes up and forward. Love you much and God bless.